In this session of East Minute, we will be looking at the CODA trial, a randomized trial comparing antibiotics with appendectomy for appendicitis. Historically, the standard treatment for acute appendicitis has been surgical appendectomy. Recently, research has challenged the traditional surgical paradigm and treatment tailored at non-operative management with antibiotics alone. This pragmatic, non-blinded, non-inferiority, multi-centered randomized control trial taking place in the U.S looked at the clinical question. Are antibiotics not inferior to surgery for the treatment of appendicitis? The primary outcome assessed was 30-day health status, assessed with the European Quality of Life Five Dimensions Questionnaire, which focuses on mobility, self-care, usual activities, pain, discomfort, and anxiety, depression. Some of the secondary outcomes included eventual appendectomy in the antibiotic group, patient-reported resolution of symptoms, and complications through 90 days, just to name a few. The method involved inclusion of adult patients aged 18 and older presenting to the emergency department with acute appendicitis confirmed with imaging. Some of the main exclusion criteria included those with diffuse peritonitis, recurrence appendicitis, walled off abscess, severe phlegmon, evidence suggestion of neoplasm, free air or more than minimal free fluid. Participants who met inclusion criteria were randomized to receive 24 hours of IV antibiotics, followed by by mouth antibiotics for a 10 day total course versus surgical appendectomy. A total of 1,552 participants with appendicitis were randomized after assessing for eligibility and exclusion criteria. Half of those received the antibiotics, while the other half underwent appendectomy. Baseline clinical and social demographic characteristics were similar in both groups. Among those that received antibiotics, 51% of individuals were admitted to the hospital for the index treatment, whereas 47% were discharged from the emergency department. In the appendectomy group, 96% of the appendectomies were performed laparoscopically, with 95% of participants admitting, admitted to the hospital. Adherence to treatment was 90% among the antibiotic group and more than 99% in the appendectomy group. As for the results, there was no difference between study groups for the primary outcome of 30-day health status. Reviewing results for the secondary outcomes, in the antibiotic group, 11% underwent surgery by 48 hours, 20% underwent surgery by 30 days, and 29% underwent surgery by 90 days. Additionally, the 90-day incidence of appendectomy was 41% among those with the appendiculus and 25% among those without. The percentage of participants who had resolution of symptoms was similar in the two groups. The percentage with the visit to the emergency department or urgent care clinic after the index treatment was 9% in the antibiotic group and 4% in the appendectomy group. And the percentage with any hospitalization after the index treatment was 24% and 5% respectively. The mean number of missed work dates with participants were less in the antibiotics group. Conclusion. The author has concluded, for the treatment of appendicitis, antibiotics were non-inferior to appendectomy on the basis of results of a standard health status measure. Some noticeable takeaway points. For the antibiotic first group, nearly three in 10 patients had undergone appendectomy by 90 days. There were three times more ED visits and two times more complications. Patients with the appendicolith were at a much higher risk of complications and need for appendectomy. These patients, an antibiotic first approach should not be considered. Some of the limitations of the trial. This was an unblinded trial with subjective primary outcome, which may influence the results of the trial. About 14% lost the follow-up with no additional information. A 90-day follow-up may be too short a time to see for recurrence rate and long-term complications in the antibiotic group. All patients with appendicitis were approached for participation, but only 30% of eligible patients agreed to undergo randomization. And lastly, there was no protocol to specify requirements for hospitalization or for a given antibiotic regimen. This concludes our East Minute session.